Hello everybody, I'm Kowalski. I'm here to run Crash Minor of Mutant. Uh, if you don't know this Crash game, it's the best Crash game ever made. Don't let anyone fool you. Uh, it's a uh, it's very broken speed game. If you really like very broken speed games, definitely stay tuned. We're going to be flying through the li uh, levels, literally and figuratively. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I've been going back and forth for World Record with Pete the player. Shout out to Pete the player, great, uh, great guy. He's been uh, helping me a lot with the game. And so currently I'm on top of the world record, but you never know what the future holds. Uh, maybe even someone who's not running the game yet will pick it up. It's very fun. Uh, the donation reader, um, are you having the incentive for me for the language? Swedish, all right. So, um, uh, where is it? Spenska? Oh, hold on, what is Swedish actually in Swedish? Uh, <laughs> Is it Svenska? Yes? Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. And then... Svergen? Is that also? Okay. Sorry, <laughs> I don't speak Swedish. Uh, but yeah, we're ready to play the game in Swedish now. Uh, usually I play the game in Dutch myself, I'm Dutch. Uh, the menus are in Dutch, usually for me. Now they will be in Swedish. Hopefully I will know the position of the menus instead of uh, the language, because I don't speak Swedish. Um, yeah, so we're starting up the game now. This is like promotion for the thing. All right. Here we are. Nyet spell. Uh, this should be good. Uh, this should be the one. I don't. I'm not gonna try to pronounce these guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So this game has like voice acting. is very cool. We're ready to start the run. Uh, here we go. All right. So this game at. Uh, it really uses two players. So I have two controllers right here. Uh, I have one PS5 controller, I use an adapter, it's on Xbox 360. So if you notice that I don't have two Xbox 360 controllers, that's why. Uh, the player 2, it can either be uh, another crash or it can be a mask. Uh, but it's not very programmed very well. So uh, what I will do here is I will take player 2 out, I will turn player 2 in a mask. As he's turning into a mask, I will leave with player 2. And then I will be able to do a short jump like that. Now I will do the same trick, the same tag. So uh, if you see left, top left, that uh, says join with player one. But currently I am player one uh, playing with, and player two is a mask. Uh, but it means that the game is a bit glitched and it won't trigger anything, any load zones. There's cutscenes, uh, there's tutorials here, but I'm skipping them because I'm in zombie mode. But there's a load zone here, so I have to exit this because it also is not triggering load zones. Uh, here we have a very, like, here we have the run the finding glitch coming up. This is called Omni Control. It gives me control during costumes, which is very important. We'll see in a second. But first I will need to get it. I use two players there to kill the guy very fast. But this is kind of timing dependent. Uh, it's sometimes a bit inconsistent, so I hope I will be able to get it. It's like a three second window to hit it. Uh, sometimes it's like off by five seconds, so it's very unlucky. This should be it. Let's see. Uh, I think that's it. I'm okay, I'm actually not sure if that's it, but uh, we will find out if this was it. Alright, so this gives me movement during cutscenes. This is very important, uh, because cutscenes, it puts you in a flying state, so you don't fall off during the cutscene into a pit or something. But because I have control during cutscenes now, I think, yeah, I do, let's go. I can store the Titan while he has the flying state and keep it even after the cutscene. And this I use to fly to the levels, literally and figuratively, like I said before. Uh, here we go, um, just over here. There's uh, five key things uh, we need to do. We can basically go anywhere we want right now, but there's five things we have to do before we can complete the game. Uh, one of these is like, watch the engine cutscene here. Uh, the engine cutscene triggers the Coco fight, uh, it gives access to the Coco fights. Here I store the Titan again in the cutscene to get flights. We can fly over here later. Kind of the cutscene can trigger here. Yeah, let's go. So this guy, uh, we just watch the cutscene there. It triggers the Coco fight, activates it, which will activate, which will give us access to the world after that, uh, which gives us access to Nina School, where we will uh, also gain access to. A, it's a lot of stuff. I will explain it on the way. So here we fly around, and just make sure I don't go too far out of bounds because out of bounds there are the game is littered with death triggers. Uh, if I go too far, I, I die and I will be put back to a checkpoint. So I have to be out of bounds to make sure I don't go back in bounds too early. But I also make, need to make sure I don't go out of bounds too far because that will cause me to die and lose a lot of time. 
here I do the same track, this, uh, the boosted jump to go over the waterfall here out of bounds and death warp. If it's Yaku, yeah, go over. This is a little bit faster, it's kind of small optimization. Uh, but faster is faster and we are all for speed here, of course, as speedrunners. I will fight Coco here, I will use player 2 as uh, the mask ability, just use chickens. And we can kill Coco in one cycle, hopefully. We'll see, she shoots basketball sales, we shoot the basketballs back on some fire and she throws it now, he was with her. And we get the one cycle, let's go. It's, uh, it's a bit of a jank one cycle sometimes. Uh, would we get it to, to, uh, today? Very, uh, very lucky. Uh, so now we get access to the Ice Kingdom where we will skip half of the game basically. Uh, the game will intend us to go uh, do the ice map. And then we backtrack to Wumpa, go to the desert, get a roller, gain access to Nina's school, and then uh, yeah, have to backtrack all the way back to the Ice Kingdom. But with flights, we can skip it. Um, we lose flights with a big load like this. It deloads everything and reloads everything. We always lose flights here. So I will have to make my way to a cutscene right now. So it's just basic platforming right now, just uh, go as fast as possible until we get to the cutscene. Some small optimization right here, nothing too big, just uh, getting the, grabbing the rope ultimately is uh, really important. Oh, really important is like, now I do it bad, like look how slow this is, man. Oh, I'm embarrassing myself. Um, yeah, once we get to the uh, cutscene, we can get fight again. Here we do a funny stash jump, if I can. I do it too early. This uh, small optimization. It would be really cool if I could get it. A back jump, jump here, we stole it from Mario 64. Uh, it's uh, just platforming. So, yeah, just walk in a straight line. So here we are approaching the cutscene. This game is, can be really scary sometimes. Uh, if, I if I miss a cutscene, uh, if, if I miss fights in the cutscene, I will not be able to really watch the cutscene sometimes, and I will not be able to get flights. I will have to either load a backup file or figure out how to do it without flights. I, you can hear you can hear the stash down there, so I stashed him, and I will be have flights in a second. So here we go. We use flight. You can like touch walls, and they will give you height like this, and I use it to go over the walls. Oh, get in the corner. Thank you. So here we fly, and we can like play a mini game here. It shoots the crystals. So crystal coming up. In the meantime, we have time for some messages. Absolutely. So we do have a donation from Retrograde slash Ray Gang with the message: "Good luck on the run, Kobo. The whole Ray Gang is just behind you, cheering you <laughs> on. I hope the game doesn't crash on you." Uh oh. And that donation goes towards the Rayman Glitch Trifecta race. Oh, I will be part of that glitch trifecta, so... Is it almost complete already? I saw it was very far. It's still a little bit away, away but we can certainly get there. Oh, alright, so that's exciting. It's, it's gonna be tomorrow in like uh, 2 p.m., I think. So we just there, we went out of bounds and we hit this trigger. We basically skipped half of the game right there. Uh, now we get access, like this blue guy is very slow. Uh, we get a new Titan right here. This guy is the one we want. Uh, like, just just look how fast he goes. We will try to keep this guy for the entire run. If I lose him, it's gonna be really bad, so I'm gonna try to not have him die. Uh, there's a lot of things that want to kill you in this game, uh, as is with many games, actually. Uh, if this thing can break, would be great. There we go. Oh, there we have the icicles. These icicles, they insta-kill you, so... I really have to avoid them. Oh, I just fell through the floor. That's very, very typical, of course. I will wait for high school cycles. Oh, I took gold! That did not hit me. Okay, cool. <gasps> oh, I got the uh, golden boom pad, golden apple, however you want to call it. And here we are approaching the school. Here we use the two player strat again. Because here we have a platform, a spinny platform. We put player two on there. And we make our way on these invisible platforms. They didn't extend far enough so you can just get on them. And we spin with player two on the platform and we just cast past the door very easily. Here we jump up here, we, we skip walking around like that, uh, and here we clip through the door. Oh, uh, if Coco will not jump on me, it would be really great. Here we skip over the door, and we stash uh, with player 2 and stash take him out, and we are past the door. We skip the entire school almost. 
Here we have the. We have to protect Nina's project here. If we don't, if we don't do this, we will be in trouble later in the game. It's very weird. It doesn't make sense. But if we don't do this, a Titan later on will not spawn. It's uh, it's mandatory. This is one of the canon events, as we call it. It cannot be skipped, even uh, even if we want to. Right, so here we got a cutscene. I'll take the guy out and I store him. We have flight again. Here we have a very funny four second time save. It's, uh, it's sa it skips walking around. I just failed it. Uh, now it's slower. That's not worth it. But let's try it again. Let's try it again. Surely we'll get it. We go there. Don't touch the spike thing. And just like that, we save walking around. Let's take the shortcuts. And we do this section now with fights. So just make sure, like, these sides, this is like, it looks like a 2D side roller, but it's actually 3D, but with invisible walls. These invisible walls can really get in the way, like you see here, they just, like, bully me. They always bully me. Make sure to not get hit by the icicles here. Okay, the icicle is always really close, but I managed to avoid him. And we are back to the Ice Kingdom. So I don't know if anyone paid attention to when I went from uh, Wumpa Island to the ice where I'm at right now. It was really slow with the blue guy. Let's make a small mental comparison with how fast we will be with the roller instead of the, uh, the blue guy. Blue rats. We get a cutscene here. I skipped it earlier to save for this to get fight here. We position ourselves on a good height so we can squeeze past the thing. I don't want to get too much height here. I want to avoid all geometry. We boost out of bounds here. And this is kind of tricky. Okay. Oh, I'm in bounds. Am I not? Yo, oh, this is really bad. Okay, that's not good. I messed it up. It's fine. Uh, so let's try again. It's fine. It's fine. We uh, managed to warp back, back here. I'm losing height. Oh, this game is really funny today. Okay, I stopped getting height or losing height. It's very cool. Oh, no. Come on. Okay, let's try it one more time. I'll, I'll do it safe otherwise if you don't get it here. It should be fine. Boost out of bounds. We're still out of bounds. Don't go back in bounds here. Go to the right. Yeah, okay, this should be it. So now we are at the ice arena where I got the cutscene uh, in the in the way towards the ice kingdom. If I can see. Oh yeah, here's like the uh, the beginning of this area. I went in bounds a little bit too early, but that's honestly fine if you can not get hide like that. So we're on, on the top half right now. Uh, we got a bonus for the dolls. These for the dolls are collectibles, we don't carry them. But we're back to Wumpa Islands already, much faster than we usually would be uh, with the blue guy. Here we do a quick death warp to be a little bit faster. Uh, it's a small optimization again. Here we take the dinosaur out and we store him to have flights. And now we fly to the level again. Oh, I get height. Oh, will I get the tricky jump, tricky landing? This is really hard because I can't see. It looks good actually. Oh, I got it. Nice. Okay, that was uh, was lucky. Thanks for the applause, but it's a bit of luck involved because I can't see what's going on. Here I need to make sure I fly over the tutorial triggers I skipped earlier. Because they're still active, they're still there, the tutorials. Just make, need to make sure uh, I do not hit them again. Here we fly uh, into this. I need to... I, I, okay, I wanted to get that with, uh, with the roller, but I accidentally caught it with player 2. Unlucky, but there's a new uh, new backup to the power up here. With this power up, I deal four times the amount of damage. I'm stuck on the okay for the short game, but yeah, this deals four times the amount of damage with a special. I can just insta kill them if I'm okay. I'm too slow for this guys. Unfortunate. Oh come on! If my thing also runs out, it's gonna be really bad. Oh come on! Die! No! Okay, he just didn't want to die. Come on. Okay, I will 1v1 one one you, sure. There you go. It took a bit longer than I uh, sh it should have, but it's fine. Right, so here we get the key. Uh, usually you would have already been to the desert. And the game was like, okay, this key you need in the desert. We will not let you walk all the way back to the desert. You've already been there. But we actually haven't been there, but the game still teleports us back, which is really great. So now we are in the desert and we will go to the dumpster. This is kind of like normal platforming, but with the dinosaur, we just boost all the time. We try to just boost as much as possible. Mess up the jump here, but it's fine. We just try again, and we get it. So this guy, the dinosaur, uh, the roller, however you want to call him, he gets stuck on nothing all the time. It's very annoying. 
Uh, the game is very jank like that, but uh, we just need to make sure we don't get stuck. We just need to pray, really. So here we... Oh, that's like... If you skip that cutscene frame perfectly, you will not see the five we just saw. We call it five skip because you don't see the five, but it also like saves like five frames. So it's uh, it's the meme skip. Just so wanna frame perfectly hit it. Here we take out the dinosaur late because if we take him out early, we will lose our flight for whatever reason. We are very not sure why we lo would lose our flight there, but it just happens, so we just can't take him out too early. Here we take high cat height on the TNT. Make sure don't to boost into the TNT, so we will explode and the dinosaur will die. Uh, here we go over. Oh, I'm gonna mess it up. I think I will miss it. Yeah. Just out to punish the TNT, take a lot of damage. It's kind of risky, I might die later on, but uh, waiting for the TNT to, to explode on itself is very slow. So yeah, we just get over all the geometry of flight and no land in the loading crash. zones. Here we will do this. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of lots of heights. Um, it should be fine. Yeah, it is fine. This room is kind of funny. Um, it starts loading the next area. So it's loaded after a set amount of time. So it doesn't really matter how fast we make it here. As long as we get this loading screen, we are fast enough. You can't be any faster than this. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly the time uh, Pete would know if he was here. Oh, and we should be able to get height in this. So we get height again and we fly through the entire level. As I said, we're flying through the levels literally and figuratively. Here we have a cutscene. I'm skipping all the cutscenes. Uh, the cutscenes are really fun. All of the cutscenes are in different styles. I personally love the cutscenes. They're all very great. Uh, here again, just getting flight immediately. There's a custom right at the beginning. Get high. This one is like if I go too high, in, in really fast, I need to react quickly uh, because I will soft lock the game otherwise. I will be in a death trigger and my checkpoint will also be in a death trigger. And that means I will be soft locked because I respawn in a death trigger. Oh, like this is an example of getting stuck on nothing. All right, here we get high. And this is like, we are supposed to go from the other way here. We're not supposed to do this, but we do it anyway because we're speedrunners. Uh, but now we are going to be in front of a door that's closed. So we're going to have to take player two out. So we clip the mask into the ceiling here. Okay, uh, Scratch, you're not supposed to do it like that, but that works too. We just clip through the ceiling with uh, player two or stashing the guy. Here we activate special and we attack the big titans. Big titans, we can get stuck in their hitbox with a special and instantly kill them if we do it well. So we have a beam. Uh, the beam can go through the generator so we can hit two at a time if my aim is correct. Here it is. So we now move. We wait for the, the purple to charge and we move to the second set. These small enemies you see around me, I want to keep them alive because if they die, the big enemies will spawn. And they can get in front of my beam and just block the shot and lose me a lot of time. Alright, those are the generators done. We just saved Uka Uka. Uh, Uka Uka was, uh, he was betrayed by Cortex. They were milking his mojo and now Uka is... Oh, let's uh, close that. Uka is out for revenge. He wants his bones back. His bones are scattered around the world. And we will have to get them back. Luckily there are teleporters. So we can just use the teleporters to get there. Uh, oh, it's a bit early, maybe. Uh, no, it's fine. That's perfect. Like, oh, so scary. Okay, make sure to get over there. Okay, here's a cutscene here. I want to save the cutscene for later to be able to fly over. If I trigger the cutscene here uh, right now, it would have been really bad. I would have to do the fight when we finish the teleporters. But I managed to go over it, so that's really good. Uh, this is the easier bone out of the three. It's easiest. We used to do it uh, last. So save the, do the uh, hard split first and then save the easy for last. But we do it easy now because we want to have a second titan for the last bone. And on the second bone we can easily get a second titan. So that's why the route does the easy bone first. I need to position the indicator of player 2. I need to not forget that. I need to position it in the top left corner where it is right now. And we will have a very hard boss fight coming up. It's going to be really challenging. I'm going to have to do... Ooh, I'm just messing up, but it's fine. Uh, so here we have the boss fight coming up. We just get a power-up and we spam chickens. It's very hard. This is, trust me, this is very challenging. Ignore the cuckling of the chickens. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very stressed right now. Will we shoot enough chickens? No, this is... I'm joking, guys. It's very easy. It's a lot of chickens on your screen. Uh, we just need to kill these guys and the uh, mini boss here is done and we will get the first bone. Oh, these guys are taking a long time to die. Alright. We skip the cutscene here and we take the bone. Alright, now we make our way to the desert. The desert can be a bit scary. There's a gate we have to clip over. 
it can be mean. It, if it bullies me, we can be stuck a little bit, but hopefully we uh, will be gamers and we will get over it first try. Uh, always first try, every time, of course. Especially marathons. Marathons are always every try, first try. So if, uh, right here, this desert has a lot of dinosaurs. Uh, the one, the Titans, like there's another one right there. I got over past those barrels very fast. It can be bullying sometimes. Yeah, if I lose my dinosaur at any point, it can be uh, annoying because not everywhere are new dinosaurs. So if I lose him, I probably will just lose a, a load of backup file. But not here because I can just get a new one. Okay, so this is the funny gate I talked about. I use Crash's head to bounce on him and get over it. So here there's a very annoying Doom Monkey here. Like, we, we could just go over this really quickly if it weren't for that guy. But he's always blocking us and losing us a few seconds because we just can't get over him fast. It's just, he knows what he's doing. He's an anti-speedrunner. So here we have another cutscene. I, you can't get not flights, you can't get flights here. I like to get flights. Uh, I know Peter Player likes to... Oh, let's not bonk on everything, please. Actually, you know what? I want this apple, my dinosaur. I don't want him to die. Let's take a safety, uh, safety Wumpa, if I can actually get it. That should be good. Oh, I'm stuck on nothing. Eh, it was a really slow apple, actually. But it's fine. Alright, so here I go out of bounds here. And just skip over this. You can just do this with normal movement. Uh, but I always bonk into everything, so I just prefer to fly over it. Land on the loading trigger here. Hits the button. Oops, that's... I'm glad I got the apple, man. I'm down to be low in health right now, otherwise. Uh, but yeah, here we are. If we fall in here with the special active, we lose the special and we lose a lot of time. But just try to not fall in here. Just kill this guy with the special and there we go. This guy I will need for the, the, the third bone. You don't need him, but it makes it your life so much easier. Uh, because if you switch between... Con uh, you can switch between Titans, but if you're in with Crash in midair, you can't take out your Titan. So you can basically use it to break midair. It's really, really useful. Uh, and this is the scariest, honestly, this is the entire, this is uh, the scariest split of the entire run. There's a funny gate in this level. If I touch it, the console crashes. Uh, and it's gonna not be good, because I'm speedrunning and I don't like my console to crash. But not doing it is also gonna be very slow. I would like, I would not be able to skip the half of the game, basically. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get behind the gate without actually touching the gates. Uh, I'll try to not choke, it's the important part. Just take it easy, don't choke. I will like break me there by switching titans here. I will have to fall a little bit. Don't go too close to the gate. There okay, we go, we didn't touch the gate. Very good. Could have lost me five minutes there by just touching the funny gate. But we're not out of the water yet. If I mess up here, we will soft lock and we will have to do that again. Uh, so we're not out of the water yet. I like to be a little bit low here so I can see in a bit. Oh, can I be here? Yeah, okay, good. Alright, so this is a bit tricky, there's death triggers, we're flying fast. Should be good, should be good. Okay, I think it's gonna eat my... We were uh, entering this while it's not loaded, so it's gonna eat my guy. No, it's not. That's perfect, actually. Because now that means we can use the, the two shooting strats. I shoot with the Titan, and I also shoot the player two. If you can give me the glove, there we go. Oh, I actually got uh, blocked off, he got pushed back, so I wasn't targeting him anymore. Oh, I'm not gonna go shoot. No, 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 go faster. Yeah, again, just shooting chickens to do the mini boss very fast. It's very cool. Oh, I want to ditch this guy so I can skip this animation. We get the animation anyways. Uh, I want to do it without this guy. It's, uh, it's fine, it's fine. Actually, can I get to the apple here? No, I can't. I can't get the apple. Don't make that mistake. I can't get the apple when the load is already active. Uh, I would, uh, if the game is loading, I can't take out a titan. It will just eat the titan. This is the cutscene I saved a little bit ago. I will store the Titan, get flies. And this is kind of a tricky landing. I will have to fly out of bounds. I can't really see much. I went too high. I went, went too fast. It's fine. I can just try again. But I can't be too low because otherwise I won't be able to make it over the wall. But I can't be too high either. Because then I will die as you just saw. I will have to time it perfectly. I will have to move the right amount and land right there. It's a pretty small hallway there, so it's easy to miss. But with enough practice, you can get pretty good at it. Uh, here we go. Well, we go back to Uka Uka right now. That's the last cannon event we need to do. Oops, I'm missing the, the trigger here. It's fine. If, you, if you're good, you can l go into this cave right away from out of bounds. I always miss it though. It's fine. I'll be on crash from the cave. It's fine. Here we just fly up in the wall to skip with the stairs. Talk to Uka Uka. 
He's happy. He gives me the teleporter back to Wumpa and we will Oka, fight Vortex. Teleporter activated. We are going back to Wumpa and we will enter space at the final level of the game. We're on a really good phase. The estimate's at 40, but I could have lowered it probably. Maybe we'll screw up in space at. Who knows? Who knows? I'm not making any like uh, game-breaking mistakes. Not any... Uh, Mistakes that would lose me a lot of time. The run is actually fairly clean. It's not going to be a world record or anything, but um, this run is a solid run. Here I use a stash jump to get up here. And we. I need to have be on the dinosaur when I use a teleporter to get a cutscene. Not having flight here would be really, really bad. It would be fine, but it would be really annoying to back it up. Here I have be in my hat. I'll be in my hat uh, with my hat in the ceiling here to take two player two out. I'm switching to the player two controller right now. It's a little bit more optimal. Go over here and we go back again. It's just, oh, my damage is so low in health. If I get hit once now, it's going to be really bad, actually. So let's try to not get hit now. If <laughs> It can be really bad, guys. It's going to still go really south. <laughs> Maybe the 40-minute estimate was really good after all. Uh, just don't get hit. Don't, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Uh, okay, good. Okay, dude, that worked out. It worked out. But we just used the teleporter and we are at Cortex. Cortex, uh, please don't bully me. Give me the one cycle. I will be using the chicken cannon as well uh, uh, while I'm punching him with the titan. This titan is really cool. He can slow down time. Uh, we don't. We really only use the dinosaur to go really fast because it's the fastest guy. But this guy is, is one of my favorites as well. Oops, I forgot. Can I press the buttons? Cool. So we punch him and shoot chickens at him. If I do it optimally, we should get a one cycle. But it's, it's kind of tight. Sometimes the game just doesn't give it to you. I don't think we're going to get it here, but it's fine. We'll just go back, get a new purple fruit. And try this set two cycle. Two cycle is gonna be easy. Like, look how low he is on health. There. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Now we use the same trick we did earlier to with the big titans to kill him with a special really fast. Take out the dinosaur and attack him like that. We stick on his hitbox and we kill him instantly. Now we need to call, kill these waves of enemies. Uh, there's three waves of battlers and three waves of stenches. Uh, those are the first three battlers dead. There's two waves coming out, up. They're spawning really late. Okay, there they are. All right. Two more waves. Oh, one more wave of the battlers. And then the game is going to wait a bit. I'm going to hopefully... Hopefully be able to time it well. Uh, oh, I hope I didn't mess up here. Is there one snoo left? Oh, yeah, he's left. I was already expecting that, honestly. Yeah, now we wait a bit. Wait a bit. Wait a bit. Wait a bit. And start spinning now. It should spawn immediately. Yeah, we, that was perfectly timed, honestly. Very optimal. Uh, now we just need two more waves of these guys. Oh, I need more strawberry. It's, uh, should have gone to the dispenser. I leave the stra strawberry for a while now. I'm already full now. Um, oh, come on. Die, 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 die. Yeah, there we go. We have... This, are the le this is guy still... Huh, wait. Is this the last wave guy, or is he like still the... Uh, we'll find out, we'll figure it out. Uh, I hope this... I hope I did it as well. It should be time coming up, actually. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a very clean run. Yeah, yeah, we spin up here. There's gonna be a button up coming up. And we will have time coming up when we jump on it. You're going up very high, it's... it's uh, we're diving on it and time. So yeah, it was a pretty clean run. No big mistakes, no major backup. Uh, I didn't need to load any backup saves. Uh, I'm happy that I didn't crash the game at Icebound. Yes, clean run, clean run. We have uh, Super Saiyan crash. This is uh, <laughs> I think it's a reference to Dragon Ball Z. I'm pretty sure it is. Like it, these cutscenes, I'll have funny reference like that. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Peter Player. Already did it, great guy, competing with me for world records for the past months. Uh, without him, I would not have been this awesome in this game. He's helped me a lot during the game. Shout out to Doom Monkey for finding stretch uh, strats. Shout out to the Crash Jacking Discord as uh, the speedrun Discord for this game. We're also working on a uh, on a fan game uh, for the like it's a. It's the next game for this. It's a fan game. It's really cool. If you like like that kind of stuff, join the server. It's linked as a website on the speedrun.com page. Uh, and we, uh, if you want to run this game, if you have an Xbox with a broken disk drive or you can't buy it for really cheap, you can still buy this game digitally before it closes or later this year. It's uh, I really recommend it. It's such a fun speed game. Um, yeah.
I will be back tomorrow for uh, the Rayman uh, Trifecta. Are we running Rayman 3 for that? Who's from the crowd for the rest of the crew is right here. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a blast. Thank you everyone for watching this. Thanks for ESA for having me. Uh, it's, uh, I'm having a blast at this event and it's not even over yet. Not even over yet. There's like five step. I don't can't even know how many more days we have left. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, thanks everyone for uh, being here. Thanks. Uh, and I'll give it to the, uh, the reader. It's uh, You guys are ready right there? Yeah? Yo, let's go. All right, see you guys. Thanks for having me. See you tomorrow for Rayman Trifecta. And until then.